at the uh, suggestion of an earlier caller who wanted to tell me how wonderful the Texas uh, legislation was, I printed the bill out, HB 3979. I have it right here in my hands. It's four pages long, uh, printed out, uh, maybe five. Yeah, no, let's see. Yeah, it goes four pages long. And uh, it's even worse than I thought. This is amazing. If you are a teacher or an administrator or an, an employee of basically any kind or other employee in any state agency, school district, campus, open enrollment, charter school, or school administration, who shall make part of a course the following concept. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to teach you about the, you know, why the Confederacy thought that slavery was a good thing. Right? John C. Calhoun, the senator from South Carolina, who invented the filibuster to block legislation about race in the 1830s, the former vice president, in fact, John C. Calhoun, who became a senator just, you know, just to, to block the, the abolition of slavery. He made a speech on the floor of the Senate in which he referred to slavery as a positive good. That was his phrase. Because he, because, you know, John C. Calhoun said and presumably believed that white people were the master race and that black people were and not even fully, completely human. And therefore, slavery was not only appropriate, but, you know, like the right thing to do. So let's say that I'm your teacher in Texas, and I want to tell you about John C. Calhoun and how he led the South right straight to secession. And I try to explain to you that that's how John C. Calhoun saw the world. Under this new Texas law, I can go to jail for doing that or lose my job. No teacher shall make part of a course the following concept. Number one, one race or sex is inherently superior to another race or sex. You may not discuss that. You may not discuss the fact that for large parts of American history, that wasn't just the belief of a lot of white people. That was the friggin' law. You may not discuss that. You may not discuss in any class that an individual, by virtue of his race or sex, is inherently racist, sexist, or oppressive, whether consciously or unconsciously. You may not talk about unconscious racism or unconscious bias. You may not discuss that if you live in Texas under this law and you're a teacher. You may not bring that up in your classroom. You may not, you may not discuss or make part of your course the concept that, number three, an individual should be, should be discriminated against to receive adverse treatment solely or partly because of his race or sex. You may not discuss the fact that that was actually the law in America. That was the law in Texas until after Reconstruction. You may not discuss that under this new Texas law. As a teacher, you may not do it. As an administrator, you may not allow it to happen in your school. As an employee in the school district, you have to make sure that this doesn't happen. You may not discuss the idea that was at the core of this country, and certainly the core of Texas, for a long, long time, and I would argue even to this moment, that an individual's moral character is necessarily determined by his or her race or sex. It's wrong, but you may not talk about it being wrong because you may not talk about the concept at all. I'm up to number four. It goes, there's a total of eight of these things. Uh, these are things you may not discuss in a classroom in Texas. You may not discuss, well, that was number five, the uh, race or sex. Uh, you may not discuss that an individual by virtue of his race or sex bears responsibility for actions committed in the past by other members of the same race or sex. You may not discuss reparations. You may not discuss the fact that an individual may feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or other forms of psychological distress on account of his race or sex. You may not discuss 
how racism has affected black people in America, if you are a teacher in Texas. You may not include that as part of your curriculum. You may not. Lose your job, lose your income, go to jail, whatever it is, you may not do it. And of course, you may not discuss, this is the, the one the billionaires like, that uh, meritocracy or traits such as a hard work ethic are racist or sexist or were created by members of a particular race to oppress members of another race. And, and I would argue that, yeah, I think that we could fairly clearly point out that meritocracy has been an idea that's been promoted for years and years in the United States as both a good thing, which you can argue it should be, you know, the, the people who do a good job, you know, end up with good rewards and good jobs and those kinds of but you may not discuss the fact that that's been an excuse for saying that, well, you know, I guess those black people that we just give them crappy schools and keep, keep them living in poor neighborhoods just aren't smart enough to perform. You know, you may not discuss that, that that's the, the ideology that Republicans have been selling for years and years. You may not discuss that. It's really mind boggling. I mean, uh, you know, thanks to uh, Steve, I think it was, the caller who, who called up and said, hey, how about this? And I said, I haven't read the law. Well, I read the law. I did it during the break. I read every word of it.